what will Jason Kelly do with all of the funds that he has accumulated from exercising stock options at Ginkgo Bioworks? It's a question, you know, we're all thinking about it, Jason, you know, because there was a recent study that came out that was talking about the effects of just holding a pile of money in your hand and how holding this money in your hand, it imparts some happiness and you know, some relief. And I wanted to ask you, Jason, if you think if that study is true or not. You know, it's like when you hold like a million dollars, you know, you can fit it inside a backpack. How do you feel, Jason? I need to know, you know, because we need to see about what you're going to do with that money. In, my, in one of my other videos a while ago, I had a really good recommendation for you, Jason. I thought that you should go buy some like big mansion in Beverly Hills and we should meet up and, you know, you should tell me about synthetic biology because, you know, I like to go to the Beverly Hills area every now and then. They have a really nice market there, Jason. It's $18 a smoothie there, but I know you with that 20 to 30 million in ginkgo money, you can afford a couple of those smoothies, Jason, for you and your family. But you know, you also have to watch out about your wife or your family now, Jason, because you're a rich man now, Jason, you're a millionaire. You know, even though you don't wanna say it, you know, that's a little asterisk, that's a little asterisk, you know, that we have to have to qualify you, Jason, because you're the you're the guy who made a bunch of money for a foundry that you still need to pour millions of dollars of investor funds into to even update and even bring online before you can see some significant portion as you have mentioned as you have been hoping for from either you know the pharmaceutical section and as well as uh, the ag biological sector so we'll see how it goes jason but you know I really want to know what you're going to do with that money. If I were you, I would invest it in some real estate. So then maybe you can do like some, you can like play stupid when like more of the lawsuits come against you, Jason, because you can think about how to like strategically spend the money. Or if I were you, you know, I would go like, you know, you can, you can go like, you can go like full rogue on this. Like if you want, like put it, put, put all the money in a bank in another country that doesn't have no extradition laws. So like, I, you know, like I also recommended to you, I gave you a really good recommendation. In my other video, you should go to Bali, you know, like Bali. I think that's where Russell Simmons. And I think that that's where P Diddy is going to go. Like, you know, Russell Simmons and Diddy, you know, they're good people, you know, they're going to give you the best information possible so that you can think about how to save yourself, Jason, because I don't know, Jason, to be honest, you know, some things are not looking too hot for you. You know, it's like, if I were you, like I was also saying in my other video, I would like delete everything off your Twitter. You know, be like those, uh, be like those students who, you know, they signed all those crazy letters. And then, you know, like they, when they found out who the students were, because, you know, they, they, you know, it's not responsible for the students to be able to hide behind, you know, the legal authority or the legal presence of a university, you know, like everyone knew who they were and everyone, you know, is like, you know, like looking at them negatively for like the rest of their life and like part of that type of sentiment it's surrounding you jason as well because you know i mean you took so much money and it was as you said you were very proud and enthusiastic to talk about the fact that ginkgo bioworks had the largest ipo in history for any biotech and i agree that's a very impressive feat given the fact that you secured 1.6 billion for an ipo which is a lot of money but then if you look at the long-term trajectory of the stock, there's even people on Twitter who have talked about how they have invested on the order of 300,000 for your business. Like Jason, realistically speaking, do you think that someone should have taken the 300,000 and put it as an investment into Ginkgo Bioworks or should uh, he, because it was a he, I think his name was Kyle, poor guy. Um, but you know, should, should, or should he invest it or put it like, on a down payment on say like a condo or something like that. Like Jason, the condo in a, in the value from real estate, it's gonna obviously appreciate and continue to hold value more than whatever you're doing in synthetic biology in the foundry. Since your IPO, you're down like 95%, dude. You know, real estate is never gonna have such a large uh, depreciation over time. So. I'm just really curious to see what you have to say, Jason, because you have to also, you know, I think also along the lines of you wanting to, you know, be genuine and be able to address your investors, you need to tell them about like, what are you planning to do with all that money? And, you know, also stop avoiding to have graphs with stock-based compensation as part of R&D expenses as like in like separate appendices of your financial report. Like that's meant to obfuscate into, you know, 
cast you know cast just confusion on because just have it there on the side if it's a significant proportion like it has been for <laughs> like more than two billion in stock based compensation you guys need to address that more instead of hiding it in the appendices of your financial reports